Hello everyone, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel and today we'll be talking about indicators of compromise that is IOCs and hashing and the role they play in tracking malware. So this is going to be a beginner level video for those of you who want to get into cybersecurity and you want to learn um, the basics. So the first thing you need to know when you're looking for malware is indicators of compromise. So what is an indicator of compromise? It's essentially anything that distinguishes an infected system from a clean system. So it would depend on the type of malware that you have, what the IOC might be. So for example, it could be a portable executable. It could be a DLL file. It could be a JavaScript. It could be pretty much anything, a registry key, a trace anything that distinguishes the malware and the damage that it has caused or what critical modifications it makes to cause the system to be compromised. Okay, so let's say you're familiar with IOCs now and you have a gist of uh, the modifications that a malware made when it compromised the system. And let's say you have a payload or an executable file that was the main part of the infection. Now, what can you do to track that file? File names are volatile. You can change the file name anytime. Anybody could change it. So you cannot rely on the name of a file or simply the metadata to be able to distinguish, say, the malicious file or a particular threat. So that's where the hashing algorithms come in. Now, you might have heard of these terms before, like MD5, SHA-256, SHA-1, and you might be wondering, what the hell are these numbers? They look like serial keys or product keys to me. I don't know what they mean. Well, basically, those are outputs of a hash function on the threads or the sample that you're dealing with. For example, MD5 stands for message digest 5, and SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm. Now, these are not very secure cryptographic algorithms, so they're not used for the purpose of encryption, but they can generate a relatively unique hash or a pretty unique hash that can be used as a fingerprint for a given sample or malware. So whenever you see malware researchers or um, analysts talk about malware, they usually mention a hash. Now that is what you use to track malware, that's what you use to find it, that's how we talk about malware samples. If you want to say collect malware, hashes are your best friend. If you want to find a particular threat, you probably need its hash. So you can find these hashes everywhere, like um, pretty much at any malware analysis website. If you upload a file to VirusTotal, it'll give you all the hashes. Same for hybrid analysis or any other site you use. That's all the basic stuff you need to know, but I would definitely recommend going through the Wikipedia pages for hashing and going through some of these algorithms. It will enhance your understanding of the topic, and that stuff is also pretty interesting. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick introduction to some cybersecurity fundamentals. I will be making more videos like this in the future if you guys like this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, whether or not you'd like to see more videos. This is Leo. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.